Leo, hi, Jerry Jackson, BBC TV in Newcastle. Um, it's been a big week. How are you feeling? How is the squad feeling after that game on Wednesday? Well, we feel like uh, we released a little the, the pressure, but we reset against the focus, like uh, laser focus again in Milwaukee, because this is the most important now. That was in the past. It gave a lot of uh, fuel to push it now and be focused on Milwaukee. This is our target now. That lifting of the pressure, that pressure was enormous and that's why the manager left. Did you say anything in particular to the squad, to the side, before that game that you felt made a difference? Oh, something different, but I say something that I feel and it was telling, telling, I told them, feel free. You want to perform well, you want to produce well, you have to feel free because it's like when people say, singing like nobody's watching, look at you, so it's the same. You need to perform, you need to feel flow and bring your best, bring your magic out. And then we try and uh, with the focus, the commitment, uh, also for the be aware, the, the, the defending, that's the was very important side too, very strong. But when we get the ball, we need to feel free to create and to do some good things. And do you feel that is how the match went? That is how they responded? They responded fantastic. They responded fantastic. That is... Uh, I think this is a it's, a it's a great feeling that probably the, the manager feel when you see yourself represented by your players on the field. Oh, that is it's tremendous. When you see how much they try to do what you told, how much they try to represent your belief and your and your your values. So they were full of character and deciding and respect and love for the club. That's what's most important also. You've been at the club quite a, a long time now. The players know you very well. But it's always difficult when you're an interim manager. Do you think that having been here for quite a long time has helped your standing among the squad and made them respect you and trust you at a difficult time? The, the, um, the respect you earn uh, day by day by your attitudes, not by your words. You can say whatever you want, but if you act different, they don't respect you. So they respect me because we look at each other in the tough moments, I was always the same. In the good moments, I was always the same. And when they were injury or they were on loan, I always, they always get, got my support. So that's when it, at this time I needed their support. They were right there for me, for the club especially. But they, in my position, they supported me to represent them also the, this leadership at the time. So, looking ahead to Millwall now, they are just above you in the table now because, of course, you're out of the bottom three. Their form has been patchy too. Are you going to set up a little differently for this game compared to the Birmingham game? It's hard because uh, we don't have too, time, too much time to, to work. Players just coming back today to training and very something light because the game's tomorrow. You're working more on videos, analysis and uh, shows and images. I don't think that... Pff, we maybe do some changes, but we need to stay to look at them, to feel them, to see how they feel, and then we do some adjustment for sure to get him better. That's what we do. But uh, changes, no. I like to use the word transformation, transform a little what we already got, and then big one is the focus here because it's a big scenario and a, and a big game to play. To get two victories back to back would be just fantastic would give us such a lift to the squad wouldn't it uh, I, I, how confident are the team ahead of this game well if uh, if we want to dream big we need the courage for to go for to for to dream big so the courage you will bring you the best uh, your performance and the togetherness yeah. so if we want to be there we have the courage to when we get the ball when we don't have the ball to to performance to produce and to achieve the, the victory. Eh? All right. Thank you so much. Matty Jones from the Northern Night Club. Um, ahead of the game, you'll have Isaiah Jones back in the squad from suspension. That's obviously provides yourself a big boost for the game. Yeah, yeah Isaiah is a very, very important player for us. He, he can impact very good if he come in as a starting or from the bench. So we are we are we are talking with him. We see we analyze his and Millwall, and then uh, we want to take the decision. But uh, he's ready 
from the start or from the bench, but he's ready and that is the most important. Yeah. You're speaking to Chubarak Pom after the game as well, but he had an ice pack strapped to his knee. Is he <coughs> okay for the game? Is he... I didn't want to ask yet. <laughs> I still, I still waiting to this afternoon. So, but I, I believe he will be okay. It was, it was a, was a good challenge that he got. And he, he's strong, mentally he's very, very strong too, and he's a fantastic player. Not only because he just scored the goal, the way he sees the football, the way he play with the ball, the way he is with his teammates, is uh, look after the the team. Don't look after only for himself. Uh, if he need to pass, he will pass before to score the goal. If someone is better position, he will give the ball for them. That's for sure. That's is a, a it's a great player. What is what he can do. Huh? So you haven't seen the rest of the players then in the state of their fitness. You won't see until this afternoon. Is that the case with everyone else? You don't know <coughs> what you're sort of working with up until this afternoon. So you, I, no. Just, you won't see the rest of the lads till they come in. Um, so you won't know what sort of squad you've got until they all come in and you see how they are. Yeah. Oh yeah, well yeah, that the final squad. You, you, you there's nothing wrong. Uh, we, you just check. You say nothing wrong. You, you shake the hand, look into your eye, their eyes, and then you see if they are ready. And then uh, you need to take uh, only 18. Huh? So you need to pick the. You try to make the right decision. But uh, I don't think there will be any any issue. But you always keep your fingers crossed for this moment. Huh? Um, you've been at this club through relegation from the Premier League. You've been through various different managers. How has this particular spell been the most difficult, would you say, in the club's kind of period since you've been here? Or has it been a bit of difficult times that you've had to go? I think one of the most painful was uh, uh, lost in Wembley against Norwich. That hurt a lot. All the season we were there. All the expectation, full Wembley, I got beat. Uh, that that hurt a lot. But uh, we came back in the next year, and that they make you feel so happy. And then when we go into Premier League, some some issues, some problems started. I also got the big injury on my Achilles, so I <coughs> did a big surgery, came back to work with a very very big problem. And but we all carry on, and the the most positive thing is tough to get relegated. But when we our last game at Liverpool and Anfield, I couldn't forget. I never forget that how the fans that were singing and supporting us that was tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. And then uh, when we lost at Chelsea, Chelsea was champion at that day in Chelsea. How the fans were there, stand up supporting us because uh, sometimes you don't keep. But they, they, they recognize the effort, the dedication, that you gave everything that you have. And that is, uh, that is why you are so proud for this club, you know, for this city, for these people especially. It's not, the city is not about the buildings, it's about the people they have. You don't hug the, 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 the monuments, you hug the people and, the, and they hug you. So this is what is about Middlesbrough, you know. That's, just, that's why we, we have this connection, not only with me, with the club, with the players. So. That's why tomorrow I will feel that we'll be sold out in our space. Then we go there, no matter what happened with the striker, the train striker or whatever, then we'll be there. Then we'll be there for sure. Um, since that relegation from the Premier League you, you, you touched on, there's been quite a few managers that have kind of come and gone really. Someone who's been at the club as long as you have, has, have there's been moments where they've just got it wrong or the managers just haven't been the right fit? So you think in his, uh, what is the right formula? Huh? Gary Mon came, then Tony Pulis. How much experience there between them? How many games you win? How many? And then uh, uh, Jonathan Goodgate, who haven't been coached before. So a lot of lot of experience as a player, but they haven't been coaching before. So we have from the most experienced coaches to no no coach experience. Then Warnock, one thousand games, fantastic man too. So he came. Uh, and still, we still don't get there. So then Wilder came, and we look like we're going to get there, and then we still not get there. So which one, which one is? Who is the right man for this position? You know. So I think the club now is in the in the direction to manage the, the time to find analyzing the situation and who is the right person to to be here. So 
probably it's rush or don't rush, but it's a certain time that they need to analyze it and then and they take the final decision. So, so on that vein, what's the directive you've been given? Is it just this game, and then you take and train on Monday, or is D still not? Yeah, I just told one of your colleagues. Uh, we working like a snipers now. First shot, Birmingham. Second shot, we try to hit uh, uh, Millwall, and then we have Sunday off. Monday afternoon, we reset. We thought we have a nice meeting and they see what's happening the next week, but already now it's me well. You've um, obviously you've you've taken to the role and you've steadied the ship. Just just how much pride are you feeling at this moment in time? You know, even you're sitting in this chair talking to us and then taking the team tomorrow. How much pride are you feeling right now? I feel so proud because uh, first because the club have the courage and the respect to give me this opportunity for the trust to give, put me in this position. That is great. And the second one, because the players stand up for you. And then that is that's just something great. They made me bright last night. They run, they play, they score. I just was in the sidelines, so they made me bright. So I hope and I believe <coughs> that I can deliver a good uh, coaching management tomorrow for my day bright for the first win away. Thank you, Leo. Cheers. Hey. Thank you, Rob. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, Leo. It's uh, Rob Nicholson, a fan of you for Hammers of the Moon. Um, a, a, a phenomenal night in, in midweek um, for, for, for everyone at the club. Um, you just said how proud you were. Um, what, what, what was it like being on the sideline when uh, at the start of, of that match when everybody was, was, was chanting for your team? When, when I thought and answered all the questions, there's a new one different coming in. <laughs> that's, that's got to be the side. I want to tell you something funny. The first three minutes, when I look into the clock, I couldn't believe that they only passed three minutes when we were under fire. That's oh my God, well, like 20 minutes on the game, it was only three. <laughs> but at the end, when, when the, I remember by the 75, 80 minutes when we do the last sub, until the last, until the last, uh, uh, whistle, it was so quick. So it was so, yeah. So it was a different. It was a roller coaster, but the, that that's his football, no? It give you high, low, high, low, and uh, it's it's how how you can balance that, and, uh, and to see to still see the things, and to still be connected with the player, with the game, and with your stuff. No, this is uh, this is the, the magic, the the talent for the the big manager, how they doing that, and then you 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 have to learn this. As quick as possible. No? And how how big a role was it that that um, Craig Craig Little um, and, and the the guys from the academy, uh, all that putting all their experience in as well. I like Craig Little. He's uh, he's uh, and I trust in him a lot because uh, he's totally opposite to me. Yeah. He gave me a great balance. It's a lot of experience, and I have a lot of respect for him too. So. Sometimes and I'm I'm not aggressive, but the, sometimes I'm, I'm I have my personality and say my things and and I told him, do you know my wife? He said no, I never meet my wife. I said well, I love my wife. I say, but you but you know why I love my wife? Because she always told me everything that I I don't want to hear. <laughs> she always tell me the opposite that I think. And I say so. Don't worry. If I love my wife, I will love you too. And then <laughs> and then it, it was. That was a good balance, and uh, that's a what the true man. Uh, mm. You know, you recognize, and you need to listen, and from there move together. And then also Kat and Mark, they were fantastic too. <coughs> but not only them. This this is what is great here, you know. Oh, well, Peter Dark, the kid man, Dave, his assistant, Chris Mosley, the physio, who is the longest worker here, is fantastic support, big friend of mine, but he's always next to everyone. Dr. Brian. Dr. Rob, I don't want to, want to miss Adam Reid. I don't want to miss anyone, sorry. Nick Allenby, go, the goalkeeper coach, Fred. So they all were together there, you know, trying to support you, to, to, to give you the best. And then you can see in their eyes, in their faces, how happy they are. And then this is because we are together. And at the end of the game, seeing, being together, you gathered all the, all the players together in a, in a huddle on in the middle of the pitch. That was obviously very important. That 
Yeah, about that. Uh, it, that is not because we were at the stadium. Eh? We did that in the first training session with me here. Yeah, yeah, that is not something special in that game. Eh? We did the, the training before we go into the game and the training and then uh, in the dressing room. And then we finish, like a, when we finish the training, we do this, this, this circle to feel, to look at each other. We did in the game. There's, it wasn't nothing just for the because of being in the stadium. It was something like it's, it's a habit now for us. Right. And you picked Hayden Hackney from the start. Um, and, and he had a, a th thought, I think we all thought he had a tremendous game and brought a lot to the team. But also, it's, it, it, you, you said afterwards, that would be very important, sends a very important message to the academy. For sure. Especially this club. We need to respect our academy. How many players, how many hard, hard work we have here in, in our academy. How many players we brought into the national team. How many, um, all of them. I can make a big list. Uh, we should do that one day. Uh, and recognize when Dave Barnaby was here, and now Craig Little, and how much investment the club put in this. So we need to look after more for our players, support them. Uh, them give it the, the environment that they really need. And when they come in into the first team, some one of the experienced guys, you need to, to look after them. No, they don't need to come in from one training or two training. They need to come in to, to give the time to performance, to feel. So first, understand what's going on in the first team. Second, adapt to how are we doing, what are the training, the, the rhythm, the style. And the third, give it time for perform. You can't ask it just performance when they come. So these are the three steps we believe in the club that we need to give it for the players, the young players. And I hope uh, this is the it's another thing that we, we will uh, bring into the club. Man. And now we go to Millwall, which is always a difficult place. And you you mentioned for the supporters, it's going to be very hard to get there and to get home afterwards. So it's. It's a, it's a big challenge for us all, isn't it, on, on Saturday? Yeah, that puts an extra, an extra salt and pepper on the result. But uh, to, for us to give it, because uh, we always play for the fans, play for the club, but also you need to recognize how much effort they want to do to go in there. How much is expensive now to go in there, because it's a same day, the tickets are very expensive, the, the train is very expensive, so the time. You know, we make sure that they don't waste their time. They invest their time with us, supporting the team. So this is something like the players and all of all the staff understand, and that we uh, will stand up together for them. We are gonna do this for them, for sure.